A bony way, everyone. We're back for another watch along with BP. Today we're doing a classic, Stargate. One of my favorite. An American movie classic. I sure. would definitely call this a classic. I guess I forgot to check the date. I'm going to say 93. Oh. We'll find it out as we go. Oh, go ahead and introduce yourself. I'm Dan. Yeah. I'm Leon. Jake here as always. We'll be doing uh, a nice little lead in. Something to ease us into it since this is going to be a girthy movie. Yeah. Yeah. So, as always, I will explain how to sync this audio track to the movie we're about to watch. In this case, it is Stargate. PG-13. 1994. 1994, Stargate, PG-13. Very good year. Probably one of the best for movies. I mean, you got Demolition Man, Stargate. Jurassic Park. I think that was 93, but all right. We'll say Jurassic Park. It was a good year. So, what you'll do is pause this audio track one prompter. Then you'll go ahead and start the movie. You're right about the nine second mark when the MGM logo fades to black. You will unpause this audio track and you should be all sunk up. So again, pause this audio track when prompted. Play the movie. Once the MGM logo fades right about the nine second mark, go ahead and start this audio track back up and you'll be all sunk up. You'll be all synced up. Go ahead and pause. Three, two, one, pause. And we're back. Doing it live. Mario Castle presents. Starts. Kassar. I haven't seen this since I was a child. Seriously? Yeah. Oh. For real. I can't even remember the last time I watched this. It's solid. I remember it very fondly. I was really into the. Stargate SG-1, too. Okay. I wasn't. Uh, I watched every episode. I even watched one of the spinoff ones. Atlantis. Deep Space Nine? No, not Atlantis. It was the Deep Space one. You're right. I wonder who does the score. This is an epic score. Yeah. John Williams. Well, I guess we'll probably see. <laughs> so... So... Have you ever read the Stephanie Myers book, The Host? Yes. It's her second most popular series after the Vampire Chronicles or whatever the fuck it's called. This one, it's about aliens that are worms that take over people. And you can tell when they're taken over because it makes their eyes glow. And they're long creatures that live forever, basically, symbiotically through other creatures. It's literally the story behind the Stargate, the, the aliens from Stargate. Okay. I was wondering where the parallels were. It's a they? direct ripoff. So um, it apparently has French Stewart from that Third Rock from the Sun TV show. He the plays Sun one TV. of the badass army guys in yeah. this. They call him Squints in this. No, it, actually he plays this role with his eyes wide open. That's how he's... Uh, Is that a choice he makes? Yeah. Like That's like a stage choice? Yeah. I didn't know that. Space I thought he was. I thought he was just half Asian or something. Oh. What? You can't say half Asian now. Oh. I didn't say Unilid. Because uh. they only have one eyelid. Is the joke? Okay. One eyelid. Dan, how could you? Eyes. I heard they have sideways vaginas too. <laughs> That's gonna have to be edited out. <laughs> as long as we made it farther than two minutes. Boom! Just past the two minute mark. <laughs> it's going to be funny when you edit that out. And it, everyone just hears, boom! Right at the two minute mark. <laughs> and we're done. You mean that was this guy's hat the whole time? Really? You take three minutes of fucking opening credits? It's a big hat. It was a big hat. That's not even what they look like. Maybe that's what the original one looked like, and then everyone after that was trying to 
imitate that look. Giza? Because, I mean, there was literally, like, at least two pharaohs, right? Probably. Yeah. Was there? Could have been more. I heard they used some sort of zero-point magnet to build the pyramids. Which I thought was strange, since it's made out of stone. <laughs> well, I mean... I wonder what the Jews did with the technology after they built the pyramid. Mall. They hid it in the Ark of the Covenant. Do they have the Ark of the Covenant? Isn't that a Christian thing? Yeah. Uh, yes. It's also a Jewish thing. All right. I'm stealing this. Yeah, right. I don't care how much gold's in it. Mine? What's that guy doing with that bundle of rope? What the fuck? Collecting it. Snap. I like the ropes going the other way. <laughs> People just pull in the other direction. It's to steady it. Is so it? it doesn't tip over. Oh, it doesn't go the other way? Yeah. I like the guys that just have sticks that aren't even doing anything. The fuck is that? Present day. I'm not buying it for a second. <laughs> yeah, right. Cyrene Whalen. Is that the old lady from Titanic? <laughs> I was going to make that same joke, you son of a bitch. Got to be quick. It's not who comes up with it, it's who gets credit. Well, I'll add the heart of the ocean or whatever later. Yeah, that's stupid bitch. It's like, here goes my wicked future. that old man with the pipe. Did you see him with glasses? Or his sunglasses inside? Yeah. Not a big fan of the turtleneck, but smooth outfit nonetheless. Like, why are they against this? He's saying a lot of very sensible things, like new data shows that we need to re examine Hey, I brought up this point a couple weeks ago. Well, months ago. About pyramids? Well, it's hard to, it's hard to tell how old a stone structure is and the only way you can tell is by the contents inside of it or what's underneath it. So it could literally be in use for 5,000 years and all you would know is the stuff from the most current time. Unless that you found evidence of. Huh? No, well, it wouldn't be just the most current time. It's anything you found evidence of. Oh well, yeah, but if every, if every civilization after that repurposed or reused the shit that was in there, yeah. took it out and reused it, out, yeah. how old would you know the building is? The oldest stuff they found, like you said. Who the fuck are you? They were killed by Egyptians. <laughs> That's why he hates the desert, but forget it. The sand, so of course, of course, it gets, gets everywhere. It. Say what you will. That's it. That one bad speech, damn. <laughs> 
He really had a lot riding on that speech. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck out. My apartment number and key are in there. <laughs> right. You can't have paid all many admissions. Kisses yeah. the key and puts it in there. Embarrassed him to be. He got called out by an old lady. Everything you own is in those trash bags. <laughs> At least they're waterproof. Uh, the old Mexican Samsonite. You have to edit that down, too. Four minutes. Four minutes. How are you? Gotta make it to the 10 minute mark. Before you start dropping hard R's. That's not, that's not, that's not. Is that what you said? I found a surprise, man. Pulls out like a balloon. <laughs> The card. We all signed it. Yeah. Get well soon. Hope you get over your kid dying. Oh no, this movie's gonna get dark real quick. Drop a little bit of exposition there, huh? Oh, foreshadowing. <laughs> How is that foreshadowing? Oh, is he going to shoot some kid? Some other kid's going to die on accident from a gunshot? He's going to be, why does this keep happening to me? <laughs> Not on my watch. Sneezes like that. <laughs> Push him down. Hey, it's uh that guy? Him. From uh that show. Yeah. If you give me a second I can think of the name of it. Mad about you? I don't think that's right. Yeah, he plays the goofy friend. He's a doctor in the show. He's a typecast as the big goofy guy. I think the last thing I've actually seen him in was he plays like the brother-in-law or something like that, the cousin in... Um, oh, shit, I can't remember the name. What's the guy from Seinfeld? Is... Uh, Raymond? No. Larry David, what's Joey your Lawrence. Curb your enthusiasm. Curb your enthusiasm, yeah, he's a curb your enthusiasm. <laughs> Joey Lawrence. I don't know. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, right. Taking it way back. On the Whoa Back Machine. It's a way back. Yeah. The Whoa Back Machine. <laughs> I didn't catch that. <laughs> it was a good joke and you missed it. <laughs> It's 
really a made up word. You can, you can translate uh, an Egyptian word into a made up word in English. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. They had a lot of hieroglyphs there. That is a smart looking uh, crew cut. <laughs> Very the soldier. I believe I had the same one uh, back in 1903. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good year. <laughs> Crew cuts ran wild. You're comfortable. Come on. <laughs> it was easy to do my hair. Yeah. We just got military. I am tight. I am tight. What happened to his sideburns? You can't have sideburns in the military. Even a little bit? No. You don't want to look like a goddamn hippie. So this was before Tombstone? Tombstone 92. Yeah, perfect. I should look this up, I guess. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of curious too. Ninety-two. I'm guessing it was after this. It seems too late. It's got to be ninety-two. I'm gonna it might guess. not even be nineties. Ninety? Nineteen ninety? No, I think you're closer to ninety-two. Ninety-two, ninety-three. That would be like the same year as Jurassic Park, according to you. Ninety-three. Tombstone 92 kept her on. All right. He was on fire. <laughs> what is he playing for his gun? He's the voice of Elvis Presley. He's on credit. Huh. You got to say more than uh, what have you. No, I don't. That's all I say. No, in order to be credited. Oh. Damn. You need four lines or something like that? I, it's something like that. Watch along with Bone Tomahawk. <laughs> oh no, that movie's. I've never Don't even know. heard of it. <coughs> it's pretty bad. Not, it'd be bad to do for this. It's, not, it's a good one. That's how I felt about Feast. About what? Too many disturbing Feast. Oh, yeah. Too many disturbing themes in that. Wouldn't, wouldn't yeah. play well. No. We're going to keep it, uh, keep like it light. A, like a morning fart, light and airy. What? Like a morning fart. I've never my heard that. Mike and Mary. Oh, my farts. Mike and Mary. Nobody's buying that. Not like Mary. You played, uh, Kurt Russell played the Jungle Boy on Gilligan's Island. You know, I think I remember that. <laughs> what? He was in Gilligan's Island? Yeah, it's the Island Boy. One episode. I believe. Yeah. He had to be like eight. <laughs> That's his whole thing. He's like a, he's like a nerd. He was fourteen when he was on Gilligan's Island as Jungle Boy. It works like this, Fire. You take a piece of paper <laughs> and you poke a hole through it. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's on the S. Idiot. <laughs> yeah. You are so hung. Hanged? Gotta get He hung. might be both. Hung it? <laughs> it was a simpler test. He's a tall guy. Yeah. Probably not wrong. Why do they put it behind the whiteboard? What if he needs to use the whiteboard? I like even though it's a movie, they still have that big exit sign back there on the door. Did you see it? I, I missed it. Uh, it was behind him when he first walked up to the window. Hey, it's OSHA. OSHA yeah. regulations. <laughs> exactly. Even top fucking uh, military bases still get OSHA inspected. <laughs> Where's your clearance? Here's my clearance. It's a library card. Oh, uh, shit, it's OSHA. OSHA actually goes on to construction sites. They what? Construction sites. Oh, she's a construction thing. They also inspect to make sure you're following the I think basically proper. any place that has um, a forklift can qualify as an OSHA site. Hmm. It's almost like it's uh, heavy no, equipment I, or something. I thought it was strictly a, a, a construction site. Thing. No, I've had them come to the like warehouse in Tucson. Really? They dinged me uh, because I had pallets standing up. Like this? Okay. Well, Hi. Right. They, were, they were leaning up against the wall. Oh. That's it? That's it. Well, they Safety have to hazard. find something, yeah. You know the joke. Just say there's the symbol right there. Just pretend there's two stupid guys. He's right. So how'd they do this back in the day? It's actually the gate powers itself. It pulls power from whatever... The no, the... The, it travels through like a wormhole, and so it pulls the power power from the wormhole. What? For realsies? Mm -hmm. Is that according to the book? I haven't read the book. I've seen the TV show. Oh wow! And they actually have ships, automated ships that go around and basically find all the planets that are. Habitable, and then they just put stargates on. So there's all these unexplored planets that are, are habitable that have stargates. The aliens do this. The builders. The engineers. Yeah, something like that. They're before the race that, like the worm people. You know, like the bad guys they meet in this. They're like the second race that uses the stargate. They're not the ones that built it. I didn't realize. I'm not as well versed in the uh, SG ones as you are. SG one's the TV series. Which is SG one fun. is the squad. That's the name of the squad. Oh my god! Your nerd is showing. What? <laughs> I said I literally watched every episode. There's ten seasons. It's twenty four episodes a season. I've watched 240 episodes, two movies, and the follow-up series. Huh. What do you What do you think we're doing? You know, oh, I forgot to turn the camera on. <laughs> what the fuck? It's like the guy in uh, True Lies who's recording the terrorist. He's like, yeah, the shirts start You see the battery? Yeah, the battery will <laughs> start going.
This is something that they do too. Send a nuke? No, this isn't the nuke. This is just a robot. And it had, it's got a bunch of sensors and some cameras and stuff on there. <coughs> In the show, it's actually covered with equipment too. Imagine, imagine what a god that guy would be to these people who, who have spent however long trying to figure this out. Yeah, he just comes there for a, He did it a long weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Over a Memorial Day weekend. He did it for room and board. He didn't want to be homeless. <laughs> yeah, he he so really got screwed <laughs> over, yeah. <laughs> He signed a horrible contract. <laughs> it's that one uh, thing where the the people all involved in like a crime, they're like talking about how much they're being made, and the first one who's making the most money says it as if they're not being paid very well, and then the the person paid even less goes, she's getting that much, and it comes to the third guy and he goes, you guys are getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so dick to get this. <laughs> I'm just doing this to get out of the heat. <laughs> Because while the gate's open, there's a signal that goes through it. So it travels through instantaneously? Yeah. Okay. Okay. It shows them like, whoosh, 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 but to them, it's instantaneous. As soon as they go through the gate, it's just you walk from one end and then you come out the other. There's no delay. All right. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Put a longer cord in your little robot. The longer cord would actually keep the gate open because it's like a time thing, but nobody goes through and shuts off. Maybe your glasses and I say would, yes. I would say send another pro, but this time take more pictures. You know? Yeah. First step, put the scientist uh, into a barber chair and give him a fucking haircut. What's the matter with his haircut? Yeah, I don't. Especially in the desert planet. Oh, yeah. You gotta have that shaped, shaped head for a desert. Bowling? He's bringing books. Idiot. Here's a priceless artifact that I pilfered when I was 12. Yeah, I literally just stole it. Don't worry about it. It didn't cost me anything. They have the same haircut. <laughs> he could say, no, no, this is too much, but he's broke. <laughs> so... I'd probably get fifty dollars. Yeah, if she <laughs> dies before I get back, I can hawk this. <laughs> All right, she's Jenny. Yeah, it's funny that she's credited because she's <laughs> That's not. What I was thinking. Yeah, there she's not going to be in the movie after this scene. Jenny chatting on PA. Oh, she has just enough lines. <laughs> oh, good old Jenny. So that's how many lines you need. What kind of guns are these? MP... They look awfully big. Uh, no, those aren't MP5s. I haven't seen a very good gun yet. I know, I know what it is, I just can't think of the name of it. Uh, the TV show always used P90s. That was the first time I ever heard of one. Those are just AR-15s. Not those, you'll see. I'll point them out for you, don't worry. Oh, yeah. Oh, you think they have like submachine guns and assault rifles? Why not? Why not? Well, because I don't know. Usually you probably just carry more ammo for one gun than <laughs> two guns.
see he does with a little goat. Can't get a very good look at it. Was there in the desk? Looks, Aren't those the UMP? Looks like a pistol. Pistol, right? pistol caliber carbine. Yeah. Probably. Probably throws nines. I think it'd at least be a forty-five or something, right? Yeah. It's a big ten mil. Yeah. It'll be a pussy. It looks like an MP5. It look, I think it's like an MP5. Yeah, the four grip though. I think that would just be an attachment. Hey, look, that looks like an old, uh, like old bullpup or something. Yeah, it was a bullpup. It's like whatever guns they could afford for the movie. They're like, ah, right, we can get this. Well, it seems like you'd have some sort of light machine gun or whatever, you know, like the light heavy machine guns, and then a bunch of, like, regular assault the rifles. Light? Yeah, heavy. you know, they're like the, the big ones, but like one that one guy can carry. They have a term for it. It's like a light, light heavy machine gun. gun. Modern military, it's, yeah, it's just light machine gun. Yeah, it's uh, called light machine gun. DMRs, and then every other guy has the same rifle. Yeah. Exactly. Just Maybe one guy with a shotgun for... Uh, it'd be funny if, like, the time doors. that he spent doing this, they aged, like, a hundred years <laughs> on the other side, because he's just dicking around, playing in the water. Stick your dick into it, and then pull it out, and see what it feels like. <laughs> Straight would start with the dick? <laughs> Balls first. Yeah, do your hands at least. Let's take a foot <laughs> no. in the water. It's they do stick you your toe it. in the water to see how it is. So they like, no, well, just dig this, first. On this side of the Stargate, you see a dick. <laughs> was that a dick? No, 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 no. It's not. No, it's not. Yeah. What are those things called at the rest stops? Glory holes? Glory hole? It's like the ultimate glory hole. I don't know what it's Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> it's that it's, weird camel it's, thing on the other side. I was thinking it's like, uh, what were we watching? Event Horizon? You stick oh, a dick in the like gravity drive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ah, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. It's definitely more than one tongue. <laughs> Why do they feel like cat's tongue? So let's not get into it. Uh, <laughs> they're like cat's tongues have little it. claws on them. The almost like Velcro. It's so they can lick flesh off of bones. Right. Which is like kind of hardcore. Creepy the more I learn about cats, the, the more I like it. The more I hate them. Cats are great. I thought you don't like any animals. You never hear a cat barking. Yeah, but that one Rawr, meows and Rawr. yells at you. <laughs> that one's a little whiny. It's true. He's got a cool name. So that looked like a DMR. That is a submachine gun. I can't tell what it is. So yeah, I was thinking a couple submachine guns. I think it's an A bunch of assault rifles and then like one big gun. But really, yeah, everybody would probably right. just have, like, a machine gun, right? Everybody yeah. Oh, have... there's the internet movie Fire Emblem. Oh, okay. Is that a thing? I didn't even know that yeah. was a thing. Oh, it's super good, too. Yeah, that one's huge. Yeah. Okay, so he's the specialist. Sniper. I think that's your, uh, uh, your, uh, squint, squints. I forget his he name. He would make a sniper. Freddy Muniz. He wouldn't make a good sniper because he's too he's squ- Look at me, he swept that guy. Patrick Stewart. How did you? No, Patrick Stewart is. Uh, no, it's Guy. Picard. Guy Fieri. <laughs> something like I can't, that. No, I can't even. It's, it's something like French. That. French. French Stewart. French Stewart. Called him. That that was a team effort. It was. It took a while to get there. Because I remembered French, you remembered Stewart. Okay, and so then, there are mock-ups of MP5s. All right. Um, an SRT, not SR9TC, which is the, the DMR. I, I don't even know that one. And then some M16A1s. You know, oh, yeah, there. just a regular. H and K what? SR9TC. Huh. All right. That gun. It looks a lot like a, a G3 HK91. Yeah, that's good. Okay. It's probably the exact same mechanics, it's just a different grip. That is a, a cute gun. 
Oh, it's I don't a know. tropical variant of the HK91. So yeah. Oh, there you go. I thought it looked a lot like yours. Yeah. That is very cute. I would take that. Handguns are Beretta 92s and Glock 17s. That was a, that shot, that bullpup you saw? Yeah. That was a Mossberg 500 bullpup. All right. Okay. Shotgun bullpup? Yeah. Yeah. That would be really fun. It's going to have a heavy ass trigger, but it's an 18 and a half inch barrel. Uh, that would be so much fun. Inch. You know that would be fun, though. Oh, uh, shotguns are fun. <laughs> Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I'm okay with shotguns. I don't. I, I don't think they're the funnest guns in the world. I, I love a shotgun. The, the point and shoot, like how incredibly easy it is to hit your target. That's a lot of fun, I guess. I'm going to shoot, shoot that thing over there 14 times in one shot. So <laughs> go now. Get one of those little cranks for it. Oh, wow. Why down here? Why not up inside the structure? There's French. Mouth open and everything. Squinting because <laughs> of the sun. It's all, it's why. He's wearing glasses, but I can see he was squinting. See, that seems like a stupid place to set up. Out in the sun? Yes. Yeah. You'd use the heat sink of the building and set up He's like... He's still squinting. Because you're so safe, you already have, you know... Yeah, stone walls around you. He's still squinting, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> you lied to me. No, he does it even more for the alien. So is that his natural face? He does have probably small eyes, but then for the alien, he always walked around and looked through, like, as small as he could. Uh, uh, an eye opening. Care careful to use the word right there. <laughs> Hard R. Or the slanty little eye. It's oh, what? <laughs> All right, that yeah. was careful. What? What's? What's? Her, no, that's the word I was uh, dancing around. Yeah, we're 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 apart. We gotta edit that part out. Okay. Well, he's, it's French Stewart. He's French. Oh. He's either French or Stewart. Let that go. <laughs> I don't know. What the f I don't know who people the Stewarts are. No, same as Patrick. So, boo, anyone listening? <laughs> boo! <laughs> he looks like he can take that French Stewart in a fight. Yeah, French Stewart does. Look how tiny look. he is. He's scrappy. I don't care how, how scrappy he is. He's built like a fifth grader. And there's a reason he's trying to he's picking on the scientists and like trying to get other people to high five him and shit. It's like he's a little insecure. <laughs> he's got that uh, tiny guy syndrome. They call it a Napoleon complex. Don't want that to be reported for posterity. You know what I mean? I do. Imagine how sandy that would be. Boy. Boy, he would be. He didn't even try to pick up on it. No. What, what, you didn't notice those footprints before? How did the military people not notice the tracks before? <laughs> Look at how fine that sand is. Imagine how awful that would be. I've discovered aliens. <laughs> right? Yeah. That means you get to name it. <laughs> I had a hose beast. Or call it the Kirk Russell. <laughs> Squids, where is it? 
I like the various head uh, gear they have. Hats and berets and not even all the same like color caps. Even. Whatever they can afford. It's probably just some backlot stuff. It needs to be the same color and style. It's a military he, standard issue. Why would he think that that's a good idea? It's right in saddle. It could be poisonous. Snap. You got me. Why does he think feeding chocolate to animals is a good idea? <laughs> I know, it'll kill chocolate dogs. Chocolate peanut butter. It'll kill dogs. Like, it's going to do this poor space yak. Look at how clumsy I am. I'm not holding on. <laughs> He's just like, Wee! <laughs> I like the jaunty music. It's kind of fun. Jaunty. They, they get a great score. It's very epic. It is. Apparently they stuck horses in these giant weird yeah. outfits something. That, that's exactly correct. I think there's actually some faraway shots where it's a dog. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just like all the faraway ones. It's just like a dog carried a doll. So you obviously can't tell. You can't tell it's obviously just a, a horse in a funny outfit. And he's dead. How was he knocked unconscious? His head on a rock? Maybe. Just shoot the animal. It's really making out with him, Jesus. <laughs> oh, this tastes so good. It's the best we've ever had. I'm so thirsty. Oh, my mouth is full of this weird space creature semen. It's delicious. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> I'm never leaving this planet. <laughs> Punch it. <laughs> Conan stop. <laughs> I'd like to if that guy just fell over from exhaustion. <laughs> Why did we wear some heavy outfits? <laughs> Why would they stand at the oh my god. These guys had no They don't know much about military goal. tactics. No. Yeah. Outlined on the hill like that. Yeah. Unmistakable. Four silhouettes on a hillside. <laughs> you can just sick them. <laughs> They're blending in so well. They're really going to town on this mountain, huh? It's kind of funny. It's apparently the rifles being carried by most of the people in the and the base were like almost absolutely military surplus from like the 70s. Oh, nice. You probably get a bunch real cheap if you yeah. buy a thousand of them. Yeah. And of course, movie studios are willing to turn them into something other than an active weapon. They might be seen as an ideal candidate to buy. Oh, okay. Something. Yeah, that'd be great. They come out firing pins or something. Look at this bad boy. Stubby. I like it. I like, I like it there. short and stubby. Yeah. There's a, a military fighting, uh, shooting, I'm sorry, civilian shooting course where if you pass it, you basically have access to the, the, the still standing stocks of rifles from like World War II to Korea or whatever. And uh, you get you can buy them for like you can buy one for like fifteen bucks if you pass the course. Huh, that's yeah. interesting. Civilian marksmanship oh, program. CMP. Is that part of that well-regulated militia they're always talking about? I don't know, but I do think it's kind of cool. Because I always bring that up when I'm arguing online, <laughs> and I get so much shit for it. And I'm like, well, what do you think they meant by well-regulated? Obviously, you've got a train, and they keep track of who has what gun and who knows how to use what. Yeah. No. They wouldn't say a well-regulated militia at the start of the 
the thing, yeah. they didn't mean it. It they literally starts with well-regulated militia. Yeah, they're not stupid. They're not including words for no reason, despite what you say. I like it's the first half of the sentence. What you mean, some dumb country bumpkin living in Arkansas? You can't read. Who can't read right. so good? What part of shall not be infringed? Well, there's the whole first half of the sentence. You just gloss <laughs> it right over. Don't try to wow me with your words. Bony way. A bony way. No spoilers. Jesus. They're already bringing them wives and <laughs> camels to suck on. Camel horse They know what people are wives here for. Wives to suck on and camels to... To ride. Rape the horses and ride off on the women. Oh, here he is. This legendary actor that very few people know his name. Yeah, but he's done fucking everything. Yeah. He's the Bony Way guy. This is one of those things where, uh, like Jay from Rather Than Media, he probably knows this fucking guy's name. Are you kidding? He's been in everything. It's I know. <laughs> I just don't know his name. Fuck. I don't know. Oh, let's watch, let's watch a bunch of his movies. Pick. Oh, uh, The Mummy next. All right. Not the biggest mummy guy, but I think I can manage. What was the other one we were talking about? Oh, I really wish we could have done The Abyss. But I guess there's no draw for it because nobody's going to be able to watch it. You know? Oh, yeah. You'd have to buy a hard copy. Well, well that's what I'm saying. And the director's cut. It would be gold to buy it <laughs> and then change it enough and put it up on the internet. Like, oh, you full copy, you know, The Abyss, director's cut. All right, we could try that. I get what you're saying for the next pr true watch along. Yeah. And then anyone who's got some sort of weird draw to want to watch The Abyss. Well, three. It's not a weird drop. It's it. great. <laughs> it's a good movie. They just nobody has access to it. They don't, I bet they don't guy, even make prints of it anymore. He's never going to have anything like this again. Imagine how bad it's going to Oh, that's true, yeah. It's like trying heroin and you never get to try it again. <laughs> you get, it's like trying heroin, but you only get to do it once. I think it means he likes it. It means delicious. He's offered me his daughter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no I was going to say. Intelligent mm -hmm. life on the planet. Hell, he had just like a handheld analyzer or whatever. Mm -hmm. It looked like the thing from Ghostbusters. EKG meter. I'd have liked it if he had pulled out like a chemical kit and oh, actually that would have like been great. Yeah, yeah. Put Splash it in a acid on there or something. Yeah, took a little chunk, put it in various chemicals, see what happens, and then he's able to tell. Start the same shaking material. it around in a vial and. If it is changes, it changes yeah. colors. Oh my God, Captain! Do you it know can, what this is? Yeah, it can mostly be in the background. Guess but you cut to it. him when he sees when he's putting the stuff into it, and then you see him in the background while doing the things, kind of shaking it, and then it cuts to the vial and it changes colors, and it cuts to him, and he's like, and he's like, oh, take it back by that. Like, wow, what a surprise! <laughs> or you have him doing all that stuff like you said, and then you have the whole rest of the scene go through. And then instead of where he says, oh, what they're mining back there, he comes running up, like, all excited with the colored vial. Like, oh, my God, look at this, Captain. Captain. Yeah. It's blue. Yeah, what does that mean? Well, it's blue, Captain. That means it's, it's the same stuff. <laughs> I like, I forgot, I like this guy. It's like the kid from Mad Max 2, all grown up. <laughs> you know he's going to die. He's like the special needs friend. Yeah. 
they really get some play out of this song, don't they? It's like, it's like 24 7 they loop. The whole movie. That big score. I like how they have the people that the little little thing, but how few people are doing it. Is that not a thing that's all that common in their culture? Where only one or two people do it every once in a while? They're probably special people. It's like the, the, the Hispanic laugh that you hear in music. <laughs> There's certain people who are really good at it. everyone can do it. No. I like these people. And yeah, I understand. But the thing is, la 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 la, it's pretty easy. I was getting drunk at Comic-Con one time. What? No. Yeah, I was stumbling around pretty good. And I saw this chick, and she had a raw tattoo on her shoulder. And I was like, the eye of raw is upon you. <laughs> and she was like, leave me alone. Well, I was all drunk and dressed like Harry Potter. <laughs> and she like, gave me like a disgusted look and walked away. I'm like, you're the one with the tattoo, bitch. You know he deserved to be talked down to. <laughs> yeah, right? That's kind of how I felt. She didn't even know what it meant. She got it because it looked cute. You know, I kind of felt that way because it looked like she had no idea what I was talking about. Yeah. The reason I got my Hufflepuff tattoo is because I love fucking Hufflepuff. I'm a huge badger guy. Is that what that's supposed to be? <laughs> the fuck? I had no idea. This is your boy! <laughs> Storms are coming. Get a right field in my bones, Eddie. <laughs> Why didn't we just set up in here to begin with? Now we lost all our crap in the storm. I only had something to cover my mouth to get all the sand out of my mouth. It's everywhere. It's coarse and rough and in my fucking lungs. <laughs> Where'd they get all these sticks from? All the trees. Obviously. Well, I mean, that's just one part of their land. He was already reaching for it. I know. It's like mom and dad saved the planet. <laughs> now he's going to have to kill himself. Bonnie way. Bonnie dumb fuck. Too bad they don't have floors. Quick, take my daughter. Okay, so remember, his name's Kasuf. So we can look up his name at the end. Kasuf. Quick, get all the old people out of here. Or that chicken beast thing. Yeah, it did look a little. It looked pretty good. I take a spike of beetle or whatever the fuck that was supposed to be. Some sort of weird. Looked like some sort of sand lizard. Yeah, sand flea. You're not supposed to eat reptiles. No, crocodile's fine. No, it's not. It's just like a giant lizard. 
<laughs> you don't like chicken? No, I don't, actually. Uh, the only way I like chicken is deep fried. Chicken's pretty close to a reptile. Yeah, but you know, the feathers and the fact that it's a bird makes it different. So do you think dinosaurs taste like chicken? No. Or do you think dinosaurs, I bet dinosaurs taste dinosaurs like reptile? I dinosaurs gaming shit. I bet they're more reptile than chicken. I'd have to learn more about crocodiles. I've tried crocodile taste. once. Alligator's delicious. Oh, maybe it was alligator. Alligator tail? Uh, it was uh, like uh, some sort of deep fried alligator bits. It's, it's, it's really good. I liked it. Are we going to get some nipples? No. It's PG-13. Uh, you can put it in the background. No. Do they have nipples? I thought that was a <laughs> mammal thing. <laughs> that would be great, though. Reptile milk? That sounds disgusting. And she commits ritual suicide. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about the old man. When you made the chicken noses at him. Why aren't you banging my daughter? He won't bang me, father. Oh, please bang her. I was just saying thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How creepy is that? <laughs> <laughs> Insects chirping. <laughs> so like crickets? That's his daughter, right? Yeah, I think so. I, I don't know if they ever really say. But <laughs> he said, what did you do? It's a very pretty mouth. I mean <laughs> Oh, imagine what kind of girl you could buy at the candy bar here. Or you could, if they, if you just have that raw symbol, probably get any girl you want. Bony Way is the, the, their word for, I, I, I'll I, give you anything for this. Yeah, it's going to, look, like, no, they even have sand, they're up on the second floor, and they have sand on the floor in here. Hey, it's insulating. I don't, you don't have to, um. Ever. You don't have to sweep, I guess, sweep. if everything's yeah. sand. Yeah. It'd be unfortunate if you drop something. Oh, it's always so dusty in here. Your <laughs> feet would always have very fresh, new, beautiful skin on the bottom. Constant, you know, um, uh, scouring of it. How they imply like there's very very few locations in the movie kind of <laughs> there's two in the movie i wish they said how many symbols are there all i guess she, all she wants is to bone that dude and he just <laughs> wants to go find fucking symbols in the sand Why didn't we set up camp in here to begin with? Too much sense, sir. Man, I miss my sleeping bag. <laughs> be buried under four feet of sand. Impossible to find. It's awesome. Thanks, Captain. Who abandoned us. <laughs> Maybe it's the power trying to come back on. What if we're eating a goat? If it was like a copy of the Giza pyramid, shouldn't it be covered with like granite or whatever? Yeah. You know, the smooth layer on the outside? Especially uh, since this one's still used. Now, if this maybe movie had been made even three years <laughs> later, there would have been a female marine in the mix just to have like a sex like a sexy lady not well, that they hadn't already done that you know aliens and stuff but they just would have almost become mandatory at this point I think. yeah and I'm thinking the tough girl making all the dick jokes dick 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 it was popular in uh, aliens and stuff sure Vasquez Vasquez uh, the, you the ever big nose you ever been confused five, for five, a five. man I didn't like her five by five, five. Uh, in her glasses and helmet, super cute. 
That's the problem. Yeah, you can't always have her wearing glasses and helmet. That it's she's more. Well, it's like a cartoon. Sure it's like a, it's not really you know. She's too cute. I wouldn't let her fly me anywhere. Honestly, if she showed up with her glasses and helmet on, because you know she's like 90 pounds and five even, I'd be like, no. I want an adult male to fly. Me. <laughs> <laughs> and then a five foot two, 90 pound adult man shows up. And you're like, whatever, big nose, get the glasses. <laughs> yeah. Put the glasses on. <laughs> Let's talk and more flying. Five by five. What did it just say? Five by five, fist in the pie. <laughs> I don't even know what you said, Jake. Fist in the pie? Oh, fist in the pie. Five okay. by five, fist in the pie. Okay. Pretty sure that's what she says. Stop. Why didn't I already have my gun loaded? Shouldn't it have made that noise, that <laughs> noise from their little travel teleporter thing? Yeah, you would think. Well, it's being uh, blocked by the sand in the air. You know how snow, falling snow, dampens sound? Have you have heard of that? I have. Sand might do the exact same thing. I've actually heard snow fall. If the snowflakes are big enough, you can actually hear it. Yeah. I mean, I don't doubt that. I've never heard that, but that's cool. I've seen them big. Like, I'd say at least as big as a quarter, if not maybe a half dollar. Yeah. And if you go the exact same distance you would on, like, say, uh, a low humidity day that didn't have snow, because it's snow, it's snow, it's super low humidity, obviously. Mm. But when you have snow, your sound travels so much less far. It's going to These are cool outfits. Oh, yeah. I wish the nice. heads were a little bit smaller, though. But the rest of it looks <sighs> really cool. I'm okay as long as it feels intuitive when you're wearing the helmet. Well, it's, you can tell that the face is down here. Yeah. And but, it's all this fancy on top. But that's top. how it's supposed to be. But it's too big. If it was, oh, like, see. more narrow, and they kind of look like a neck instead of, like, a big mechanism. Oh, I'm but so okay the, with that. I, I think the whole cool purpose well. is, like, intimidation. Yeah, especially if you watch the TV show, because they talk all about it. It's, Do they really? Yeah, because no, they're not really practical. The armor's not practical. The weapons aren't practical. It's more like a show. Because it's like a big staff that shoots one shot at the end, out the end. You can't even aim it. Think about it compared to it like a machine gun. You know, and their staffs don't even kill people with one shot. Uh, oh, okay, that was quick. <laughs> <laughs> sure, knock yourself out, boy. Yeah, well, what, it's be, he's probably puffing on some opium or whatever anyway. Oh, he's got some cocaine mixed in with the cigarettes. You know, this kid's dying. I like his assless pants. <laughs> well, don't do it, boy. Get it. Get it. He would have been a good father. He wasn't a good father. His son got a hold of his gun and shot himself. Yeah, that's a terrible father. That's about as bad a father as you can be. Why are his pants assless? Well, and his bitch yeah. Kurt Russell's is hanging gonna out. dress how Kurt Russell wants to dress. <laughs> right? <laughs> He's the pole here. Well then how are you supposed to light your cigarettes? I can't believe they call Zippo's the wind resistant flame or whatever. Yeah. yeah. It's so My stupid. Ass. Yeah. I guess they just say that. They're not actually wind resistant. It's just part of the oh, name. They're saying that compared to a match. Did you see there? Compared there to a match. Did he almost get the gun? And then he points it at him while finger on the trigger. It's how he dangerous at the boys. <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna shoot like you! <laughs> Dumbass. Uh, uh, Captain, most of us have been keeping the guns away from the children. <laughs> right. This is how you don't kill kids. kids. That's why he went like, <laughs> it's like, I can't believe I keep making this mistake. <laughs> how does this keep happening? How many kids is this going to take? <laughs> I don't remember that. You know, the whole you know, kid dying part at the beginning. 
Yeah, because they replace him with the character very much like him in the TV show. That's not so well. It's MacGyver. <sighs> they actually make a MacGyver joke in the first episode. I think it's even supposed to be the same character, practically. I think it is supposed to be the same character. They really make a MacGyver joke? Yeah, because he goes to get on the end of the thing or whatever for the very first time. Fantastic. And they literally say, like, oh, we're going to MacGyver it up or something like that. And he stops and looks at the camera. The power riff. So, I mean, like, you could just be making her show, like, some side boob or something. Come on now. She's yours. She's your property. You're coming with me. <laughs> Take your top off. Naturu! Why does that sound familiar? What? Naturu? And Kanduru or whatever? That's the, the, the penis fish. I made that joke yesterday when we were watching yeah. whatever. Last time when we were watching whatever. <clears throat> the penis fish. The Horus one. He's so squinty. And he pulls out a pistol and puts a bullet into each of their backs while the corpse. <laughs> yeah, because they don't understand what pistols are. Like, literally. No, this is what even. Well, because they basically be special forces. They would have both a pistol and a, uh, a rifle. No, no, no. I meant the aliens. I know. Yeah. But there's no reason he should have both. And probably a backup pistol, too, right? Or is that what the pistol is? You're already back. Uh, yeah, I think so. In most of the military, only the officers get uh, pistols. I think special forces get But don't. I thought regular soldiers had to buy their own pistols. Uh, well, do you think they're just not supposed to have them? Maybe they can. I've heard that, but I mean, I don't know how far that actually goes. I have no idea. Yeah, I've just heard the same yeah. thing. Yeah. Oh, that poor unfortunate guy. You see him? Oh, yeah. yeah, I was making all those jokes earlier, yeah, remember? From, uh, the little boy from Mad Max 2, all grown up. <laughs> the special needs friend that you know is going to die. He doesn't understand fire's hot. You might want to check if it's real fire. Maybe you're not used to something like that. Maybe you think it's an, an illusion. All right. So you actually want to make sure it's hot. You'd be like asking. Or put out. a stick in it. Or ooh, ooh, ooh. This is going really well. <laughs> Does anybody speak English? Well, to be fair, it doesn't mean anything to me. They should all point at him and go, Dweeb! <laughs> That's how they broke my brand. Oh, yeah. Shut up, you morons! <laughs> oh, no. See, I told you. Oh, but in this aside, he actually probably does pretty well because they don't have like high. Oh, high there's no reading. They're not allowed to read because that's what happens on Earth. Is the Earthlings learn and how to read? Revolt. Yeah, and they bury the gate, and so then they they outlaw their servants or whatever from reading. I, I think you just gave away a major plot point in the movie here. We said spoilers for a forty-year-old movie, or whatever. <laughs> Whoa. Don't fucking date yourself like that. Something I saw that was funny. This was movie's older than I am, Leon. Me being Jake. The youngest one in the group. The, uh, the funny thing I saw, it was... Uh, the distance between when that 70s show was made <laughs> and that when the 70s actually ended was a briefer span of time than when that 90s show was created and the 90s ended. Like... We're further away from the 90s when that show came <laughs> that out. That 70s than when, show when was, the 70s, or yeah. From the 70s, yes. 
I've heard something very similar, yeah. Well, the other funny one was um, the time between when we landed on the moon and when we The Simpsons came out. Yeah. It's been longer since The Simpsons first premiered than when between The Simpsons and the landing on the moon. That's pretty funny. He was a pretty boy. Yeah, that's the important part. Well, that's all written right here, and you can read it perfectly. That's great. He found that tablet he was talking about. Apparently some giant ship is landed. I want Ray Ringers to watch this movie and the things that that's exactly what they want. That's why they wanna ban the flat earth from being presented in schools. <laughs> it's like okay. Oh the man that those flat earthers. Oh, Show me a picture of the edge. An elected Republican official came out as a flat earther. She's like, Oh, if the world world's really a globe, why do they feel the need? To show it in every instance that the world's a globe. It's like, because the world is a globe. Well, what do you mean? Are they going to, what? No, does that make sense? Yeah. The, the, if you always show fact, that must mean fact isn't real. Bony? Wait, how many symbols are there? Seven. So just try seven of them. There's probably more symbols than that. Probably a lot more. But I mean, how, would you just try 30 times or whatever until you get the right one. How hard could it be? I don't know. You can end up in some weird fucking planets. It's true. So you stick your dick in first. <laughs> <laughs> My Full dick's circle. a barometer. Full circle. Sand people, huh? <laughs> no, I don't remember that being there. Yeah, before. I don't know. You think that would have spotted a little further away? How do you not see something like that coming through the atmosphere? Well, it's obviously the ship. <laughs> Good job. I thought he was just going alone. He didn't give any orders or anything. Did you see Jackson had a gun? This is an MP5 ship. Nine mil? Uh, yeah, I believe so. I'll cut the book just to be sure. Why is nine mil so popular? Cheap. Mass produced. But why nine mil? Yep, nine by nineteen parabola.
Pachu, pachu, pachu. But you see what I'm saying? Even though these seem to be doing a ton of damage, but uh, they're not really easy to aim. Yeah, it's not well, like you a practical. Shoot from the hip. Yep. As opposed to something like even a pistol. It's a bomb, you fool. See, they should have had this noise in the background. You know, that's like how they got there off the ship. Oh, and the soldiers all of a sudden heard, they're like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, because it's not very loud. You I could just have something. it in the background. Well, I thought I heard something kind of similar. It's just, like I was saying, the sandstorm muffled it. Oh, okay. Part. Where'd those two come from? But I could literally just kill all three, and I'm not even a soldier. Yata, yato. Yeah, right. So this is what happened to the Ewoks, huh? I was a uh, player, wasn't it? Yeah, yato. Oh, no, you're right. That was, uh, Ewoks. Yeah, it's also in the, the Leia, the bounty hunter. Okay. Outfit. She was speaking yeah, to Ewok. Oh, that'd yeah, be great. Stop. Ewoks, when they get big enough, they get, like, really smart and turn into hot ladies. So All right. Kind of weird. I'm in good. Yeah, right? The lava form of Twi'leks. As long as they have, uh, human behind. And for some reason, human hands. <laughs> Don't ask me why. Hooves are okay, but human hands. Yeah, I'd say that's fair. As long as the hands are on the end of the arms. <laughs> <laughs> human hands for feet and hooves for hands. Yeah, right. That sounds like some unholy abomination. It's like a cheaty wish gone bad. No! <laughs> Well, the bald ass kids. I remember that. He's got a lot of little boys around. I think they're probably future possible hymns. But he's still in the same body from literally the beginning. Oh, is it? Is that yeah. supposed to be true? Right. It yeah. shows the same actor anyway oh, okay. when he was okay. telling the story. But, you know, that could be Liberty or whatever. Oh, maybe he's still just Fox. Yeah, maybe right? Those are his kids. I love this body. It has all kinds of weird credits. Because he's like a space one. Yeah, I've got three more holes than I used to have. <laughs> They're just too big. Like I said, it feels like they should be so much slimmer. What up, bro? He's in a lot of things. He's still in movies now. Guardians of the Galaxy and shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, he plays the guy with all the weird crystals in his head, I think. Or whatever, like the computers in his brain. Or we're racist. <laughs> well, uh, doesn't that actually happen because he gets brained in one of the movies? And then they rebuild him with a computer brain. And his yeah. computer brain gets ripped out. He was part of Allison Bree's team in the Marvels. Miss Marvel. And then something happened and he ended up part of... Uh, looking for one of the stones. Blam, 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 <laughs> blam. So he was willing to nuke all of these people, but he's not willing to, to shoot, shoot a couple. Well, it's, it's probably kind of hard to shoot a kid in the face. It's a bit crotch shot. Just play out. All right, just like gut him. Right in the knee. You ain't never going to walk right, but at least you'll be alive. 
See, this guy's even kind of girly boy over here. If you were worried about a revolt with this level of technology from Earthlings back then, imagine what the current day human beings could just do to you. That's what I'm saying. Like, them with like a pistol. Boom, boom, yeah. boom, boom. And the guards are just going down. I can't even open my staff quick enough. Because they got to like... And it like opens up and before they can shoot it. They send a few uh, little birds through, like helicopters. <laughs> and it's like, oh, well, shit. it's got to fit through. Wait, let me put my helmet on. Yeah, it's actually kind of funny because the starship, these ships, are just small enough to fit through the Stargate. I think you can disassemble the the rudders. And stuff. Oh, okay. They yeah. probably make little helicopters like that. Yeah. To fit two stargates, they make helicopters like that. Yes, of course. <laughs> I just meant little helicopters that you put no, together in the field. To fit two stargates. <laughs> Our real world military is concerned about that. Like we can't let the stargate technology succeed us. Something like I saw people like, the military is so woke, they're acknowledging climate change. And like, yeah, because they won't be able to operate in the Middle East for several months of <laughs> a year. That's a thing that needs to be taken into account to account in our with our military. Regionally, we will not be able to project military force <laughs> with human beings. Yeah, our and equipment doesn't die. work in that kind of heat. Yes, they will die. Only if they do stuff. Ah, uh, right in the nuts. Seems pretty fucked up. Why are they attacking? What did they do? Get the aid. They don't know that. They don't not know it. This pre Desert Storm? When was Desert Storm? 96? 93. The back when the Arabs were all like the good guys in movies and shit. We support, uh, we salute the brave fighters of the Mujahideen. <laughs> and of, uh, Rocky 2 or whatever. Yeah, oh, that's so great. Rambo First Blood Part 2. Yeah. No, I like Rocky 2. <laughs> Just straight Rocky 2. Yeah. Take that, Apollo. This is for the Hajim. I probably got his flag. <laughs> what? <laughs> What'd you say? Nothing. But it's not repeated. <laughs> it's an impressive looking ship. It's all right. He just got resurrected. That's what the casket does. He did get resurrected, didn't he? Yep. He should have gone in for a, for another dose. He doesn't need to. He's basically like souped up. He's in his peak of physical condition as he can be. Kick the shit out of that kid and that cat. He probably couldn't, because I'm just going to assume that this is like some court, what have you, for the pharaoh. So he's probably trained in so a number of martial assassin. arts. Yeah. If nothing pharaoh else, he trains all his lady boys. Yeah. Like that. He probably just likes to watch him wrestle. You know, makes him fight. And whoever loses, he does things to. He gives them prizes and gifts. Yeah. Especially the losers. How much different could his body be that he's it can't a be repaired as easily as a human's? 
He's a worm. It's awfully sexual. He's lived for thousands upon thousands of years. They come up with an ingenious uh, uh, like stopgap for stopping things from getting through. They build a gate to put over the front of the gate so that you like can't a silencer? just more like a like a gate so that you can't just come in on the earth side. Okay. They call it the iris, and they close it, and then you can't go this way through. Yeah, the gate. anything that tries to come through. It's yeah, it actually. Gets smashed against the the iris. He mm. says, "Muscly men constantly walking around in the background. They're not <laughs> doing anything, but that's it. He likes it. They they look busy. He likes to make them wrestle. He's gonna cut his head off." Highlighter sound. All right, there can be only one, which is definitely something we should get into. Oh yeah, that definitely not. The whole first movie is uh, the album, the soundtracks, Queen. I like how they stick with the uh, the fake language. Uh, and Return 2 didn't have the balls to do that. It's probably the reason this movie wasn't as successful as it could be. Oh, yeah. yeah this probably. was back when when people still had, had attention spans, though. You can tell. For two reasons. It's a long movie. Yeah. It's slow as shit, for one. But for two, you can tell slow. it's... Literally nothing has happened. <laughs> We've been watching this whole wrong. time. We're an hour and a half in. And they haven't had one fight. Feels like we just started. It does <laughs> Actually, you made myself go. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes that happens when I open my mouth too wide. <laughs> kind of subdued music. I can't see anything. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. First laser pointers, and now this. I don't even know how to use this. <laughs> That's not how they work. They won't kill you, possibly. They'll kill other people by accident. Yep, they're... Oh, man. You sure use those people as cover for you. <laughs> Especially that guy. Yeah. <laughs> they're just shooting at people now. Yep. None of those people knew what they were volunteering themselves for. Her. Oh man! Long, Long into the shots night. Real bad. Oh man. Oh man, those people got butchered. Shit. They were doing that thing where everyone on the left was running to the right, and everyone on the right was running to the left, <laughs> and no one was just running away.
Look, they brought me a wife too, Colonel. I'm in favor of recruiting child soldiers. What? Jeez. You gotta do what you gotta do, Captain. For the Captain. rebellion. Just like America. You go goose-stepping all over the galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good start. Awkward. He gets up and walks away. Just lady problems, huh? You're just a dumb Polak. Yeah, right? Whoa! I'm Polish, by the way, so I can, I can make that joke. Me, Jake. Jake the Polak. The <laughs> big Polak Jake. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh. I feel bad for his boys tonight. A lot of mid drift and shit, too. So, apparently, they bothered to give all the different military people, like, actual ranks or whatever. Okay. But when it came to the credits, they're all just listed as a lieutenant. So, like, French student is a tactical sergeant and all those other things. Like, they all have actual ranks. <laughs> but, but it they, didn't make it to the credits? Yeah, for some reason. And people can tell by their, you know, insignia or whatever, apparently. Going by uh, internet movie, firearms, titties. Alright. It's nice you got something to do. Yeah, it is. One of the guys' names is Kowalski. And you keep saying that. You don't know anything about me, Kowalski. <laughs> Apparently French Stewart's still alive? Yeah. Like in the movie? Yes. Oh, he comes back at the end? Yes. I don't remember that. He wasn't... He literally just wasn't on screen. Here's a scene from the end of the movie. It's Ferretti, French Stewart, Scarra, and a number of the young guys, rebels, because they're all wearing the army guys' uniforms or whatever. Okay. He's in, he's, that's French Stewart, whatever. He's right. just back. They never killed him. He's just been hiding the whole time? Yeah. I saw this shit that happened, so I ran away. <laughs> I'm French, sir. We're good at surrendering. Sacre bleu. Do you think he gives all of his people immortality? Uh, the guards? Yeah. Those guys? They're, they are, yes. They're not really immortal. They have the worms in them, though. Yeah, they're Gaul. Gaul. He's the leader of the ghoul, and he has the most technology in this movie. Um, but they're, um, they're symbiotes. It's a worm inside you that's immortal, and it's carries your uh, whatever your knowledge and its knowledge, and it's, it gives them slight healing powers and yeah, stuff too. It's just like the 
Star Trek Deep Space Nine in Star Trek. Uh, or that book, The Host, by yeah. the chick that wrote Twilight, Stephanie Meyer. See, I don't know. I think in that one, the, she doesn't get all of uh, what's her face's memories and stuff. She's supposed to. Uh, oh, and it doesn't work right, and that's why there's the two personalities? Yep. Okay. Because once they, they get captured, they know where the people are. You know, that's what's so dangerous, because once they get captured, they come back with more aliens, because they know where you're at. Super gay. <laughs> Tell them I want your dad. <laughs> he's like, he's on like, the old air fence. Like, yeah, all right. Bony way. <laughs> Man, they were really happy about that dude about to get laid. <laughs> That's my sister. <laughs> hey, there's some wood. Somehow. Oh, I know. I was going to say, I imagine how fucking rare that large amount of wood would be. I think they're over there by the smoke. Oh, they're idiots. They just chose to live in the desert, but there's like tropical paradises every other location in the world. They get over one hill and you can just there see greenery and ocean and they're like, there well, what, why, why don't you live there? <laughs> yeah, just bugs. Oh, that'd be great. Like, uh, well, until you see the bugs on their planet. Yeah. You're like, yeah, they don't come from the desert. That's where that flea came from. No, no, what are you doing? Oh, he's going to be all pissed. Drawing. This is the first art this people have produced in thousands of years. And he's like, no, let me help you. <laughs> and he improves it. <laughs> Big penis. <laughs> Perfect. Cool skate. Big their stupid helmets up. Ah, stop saying that. I like them. If you could grow accustomed to looking through like a way higher point of view like that, it, I think it'd be funny. <laughs> it's like a periscope inside. Okay. Teabag them real quick. Here's <laughs> what I do to your gods. Boom, boom, boom. Look up a skirt. Dropping my nuts on him. You see, he's just a man. His mouth is just like any other man's mouth. Look wow. at his testicles. <laughs> you know he's like urged to kill. He's doing like the walk like an Egyptian pose. <laughs> oh, nice. Urge to jihad imminent. <laughs> That's something that was always funny about the the Dune books. They refer to all their wars as jihads. Well, hugs just means holy war, right? Yeah. Like I said, these outfits are they're kind of strange. They're a little too fetish fetishized. I'm into it, okay? I'm not saying you're not into it. I'm just saying <laughs> I would have made the skirts a little shorter. I think the, the dog ladies, ones look better. The ladies would still be walking around with like big, uh, oh, it'd be, but it'd be like a hyena head, and then she'd have like six hyena titties attached to the outfit. Boob armor, but it's like six boobs. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, hyena ladies have big clits and shit. Do all sorts of weird things with them. That'd be part of the armor okay. too. Of Big course. stink land. Yeah. Yummy, your thought. 
there's Fred Stewart. He's just right there the whole time. Well, you wait. A few words are there. See the bird head looking down? That's pretty good. That's hilarious. I didn't laugh, but I enjoyed that a great deal. I'm assuming it, they could just see through the front like normal, no. and then the head just moves around with it. So when they look around the little head on top, it, uh, it tracks. Uh, it, it tracks the point of their point of view. Yeah, is what you're saying. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It just see, I, I like it the other way, where they're, where they're actually looking through. looking through the eyes of the helmet. Yes, so that becomes their new point of view. To the point where they would sometimes feel awkward not having the mask on because you don't wear glasses, but it, it changes the way your eyes focus and stuff. Well, plus, you'd be looking down at everybody. Like so, when I'm like anyway kind of uh, hiking, I have to take my glasses off because oh, the ground's all fucked up. It, it changes the distance that I'm used to the ground being, and it changes the way I put my feet down. Huh? Or I'm just used to walking around without glasses. I mean. I don't know. But it is very different. I imagine you walking around without it's glasses like shirts. Team America. The puppet. <laughs> <laughs> I walk different with glasses on. <laughs> uh, yeah. You weren't kidding. What's that, 1911? No, there's only two pistols. A uh, Glock and a... Uh, I spoke. But they're not like a Glock. And, uh, let's see. It's a gun Leon almost got, except he got the one he got, a Breda 92. Leon almost Breda. got a Breda 92 clone, I should say. I couldn't afford a Breda 92. But that stuff's explosive. Uh, the reason that's a good gun is it's a weapon that's been used by the military for a really long time. Okay. So it's, you know, kind of proven and tested. Tried and true, they call it. Well, there you go. Proof and tested, or I can say try and true, like a person who's a dumbass. <laughs> so, all of his guards are all the worm people, too? Yeah, all the big guys? Yeah, at least as far as the TV show is concerned. They're all guau And I don't know how much of that is a retcon. Probably a lot of it. Yeah, the leader is basically like a king of the Guau, or a regional warlord, maybe even. If I remember correctly, I think the guards are a different, they're like a different cast kind of thing. There's like a leader cast, and then there's like a guard cast. Yeah. They're soldiers running like guards. Aww. Shut up three fucking times. I like the quavering. <laughs> he's, really good. he's quite a quavering, no one can deny that. He's quite the quaverist. See, he's fruity as shit. Yeah, because he doesn't have this helmet up. Boom, straight. Oh, that was just opening the teleporter. Yeah, yeah he's got a lot of jewelry. Yeah, each little jewel does a different little thing. They're like the Infinity Stones, but... I like that one a lot better. The dog. Don't shoot at the nuclear warhead. <laughs> What's the line from Fight Club? 500 pounds of explosives in our van! Oh, yeah. How, so this is just like what? Putting her in there, like turning the microwave on for like two minutes, and then she's done. Yeah, pretty much. It's the resurrection sarcophagus. It'll be funny, like the aliens 
they're too complicated for this medical technology to work, but you can transfer your consciousness to like the simple body and then just keep it alive forever with the medical technology you have because they're just biologically so simple. Huh. Get inside where there's cover. How he's actually being the smarter one? Yeah. But he's gonna die no. for it. No, Joe, Joe, don't do it! There's gotta be dentures, right? He doesn't actually have teeth. <laughs> They really get a lot of play out of these two ships. And I like how they're, the ships are targeting that one guy, <laughs> not the mass of individuals. <laughs> Those pilots are dumb. They're, they're safe behind some pieces of wood. Yeah, I know, these space weapons. <laughs> Why don't we get inside the pyramid? Oh wait, did they close the door? Damn you, French Stewart, you Freddy fuck. Ow, you scratched me! Sick son of a bitch! Who scratches? Right? Why is it making weird noises? That was the 3 minute and 20 second mark. The great right. noise. No, you don't. But if it goes up, it's going to destroy that whole place. Good old Kowalski. What's he going to do? Well, you're just trying him to us. Yeah, nah, yeah, nah. Ding. See, I don't even think it took two minutes. Ding, sure he's done. Ding, sure he's done. She was in there less than two minutes. There's literally a ticking clock. They... S the pilots landed? Really? Why would they do that? <laughs> they wouldn't. Our these one advantage. Mean, yeah, these people mean nothing to them. They would just slaughter them. It is their workforce. No, but the, it's it's a small portion of their workforce, and these people live for thousands of years. Like you'll get over it, kill them. <laughs> that was the two minute fifteen second mark. Both grunting. All right. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? Who's King Tut? Yeah, he would have no concept. Knock out your necklace. Uh, that's not enough for an arm? No blood? No blood. Ignore what that red stuff was. No blood. That was just me. Look at he scratched him up, but he didn't leave any marks. Just tore his shirt a little bit. It's nice that they left him with an active timer. You think it would just trick him, you know what I mean? <laughs> he would just, just try to disarm the bomb and then it, it would tell him he disarmed it and it would actually disarm. The bomb disarmed! And then it just explodes. 
body weight! <laughs> Why did we get out of our ship? I know. They would just give up, like legitimately. You can't hope to fight off that many people. It's or true. do enough damage to stop them. Especially with their guns. Maybe a flamethrower. Yeah, once you got out of your fucking airplane, you idiots. <laughs> That's a good thing we parked so close. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. I'm glad I listened to you. Oh, you. you just pull in your, you call in your ship with your little wrist uh, ambulance <laughs> or whatever. Do -do. Hop into it and just slaughter them all, yeah. I want to make a couple passes real low. Boop, 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 boop. I like how they're still taking out as many as they can before they die. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Well, you know when you're the slave master, you're going to get it no matter what. Bam, bam, slice, bam, explode. <laughs> you do the, the, the predator thing where you set a bomb off your face. <laughs> you're womp, 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 you're womp, one womp, ugly womp. son of a bitch. Giant pussy. Giant pussy. <laughs> Big as a house. Man, that predator sure knows how to insult me really well. It's weird. Picked up on a language. <laughs> <laughs> right, Eve? They've been keeping track of Earth, uh, you know, going on for yeah. quite some time. Yeah. Up to. <laughs> right at the cafeteria. Thing. Oh, they're finishing each other's sentences. <laughs> each other's sandwiches. <laughs> So I think from Stargate SG-1, it's Colonel McNeil. It's what? The Colonel McNeil. Okay. So we'll see when we see the credits. McNeil and Rabashabal. Rabashabal? That was the guy's name. The, the Pony Way guy. Oh. Raf Raf I'm, Shabu, not exactly Shabu. Sure. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, okay? It's literally an alien language. Where's the guy with the big teeth? Dying. Big old day. <laughs> oh yeah, it's appropriate. Yeah. You don't even know what that means. That's our symbol. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody cheers for that. So are they bringing all these people back to a world that isn't desolate and shitty? Or are they leaving him here? Oh, the living. How do you know here. that? How do you know that the rest of this world isn't beautiful? Uh, Remember, it's full of bugs. It could just be this one part. It's you know, where it's like just where the it's shitty. just where the minerals are. You're welcome, Kowalski. You've been a solid part of this entire expedition. <laughs> I 
I literally have nothing to go back to. Yeah, I'm homeless. <laughs> and and two trash bags. Well, the alien stole his suitcase. Uh, you remember? Uh, it had all his books and shit. Okay, bye. <laughs> Two weeks later, blam. <laughs> hey, hey. Send back some penicillin. Sweet. I'm going to sell this for so much money. O'Neill. Is like? His name's O'Neill. It is O'Neill, yeah. I was just looking that up on the website here. So it might be the same character. Yeah, it, it, it should be as far as the story's concerned, yeah. And I do remember from the show his son dying, but for some reason I just thought it was a different character. Like they just got two different kid guys with dead sons. It's pretty actually wow. quite, it happens quite a bit. Should we clap? The end, no. Oh, okay. But grandma? The epic. That is the Stargate. How does a unit production manager get top villains? Yeah. That's Donald weird. had some connections. Alright, um, Leon, what was your favorite thing? Uh, well, all the gay sex. Alright, you don't have to answer <laughs> any longer. That's why you're not allowed to say stuff. Jake? Oh. All the gay sex. <laughs> I think it was all the little boy talk. I bet it was. <laughs> It was all the Bonnie Wade stuff. When we used it or when they used it? Jonathan, Jack O'Neill. When we use it, I, whenever you ask me what my favorite part was, I always pick something that we did. And nothing to do with the movie. Okay. I think it's funny. Jenny, Lee, Taylor, Alon. Hey, good old Jenny. <laughs> it's good to see Jenny get some work. Yeah. Look at all the horses. Oh, are those the bird ones? Uh, yeah, Horace is the bird. All right. Disappointed. I'm just going to say it. What? Too many ethnics, not enough singing. <laughs> uh, I like how there's like four primary cast members total. That's yeah. kind of funny. I didn't even see French Stewart. <laughs> that was weird. What happened to him? He disappeared for part of the movie. Yeah, there was some cut scenes where he was allowed to go or something. Scheduling conflicts. He had... Uh, <laughs> yeah, Third uh, Rock really blew up right in the middle of that filming. <laughs> I got huge things to do. Huge. Look at how squinty my eyes are. Alright, well, I didn't hate it. What was your favorite part, then? Um... Gay sex. <laughs> Gay sex! Jesus Christ. How old are you guys? Well, uh, since I'm the youngest one here, I'd say I'm just about to turn 30. Youngest one? By a long time. Decades How do you in some figure? cases. By math? Well, I mean, by the linear passage of time. Alright. Well, that may be, but you look the oldest. You look old enough to be my dad. Let's uh, not play this game. But seriously, I do. As so much of it was aesthetics. I like the sci-fi, aesthetics, or uh, the oh. pyramid stuff, all that. I thought that was cool. Uh, the directorial choice to keep the alien language and subtitles the whole time, all right? Even okay. though he somehow learns to speak it, this oh, whole movie takes place over a day. Yeah, he le he learns their basic little language super quick. He can talk to the but raw. He already knew Berber, and he already knew ancient Egyptian. So, and, you think and it's I just think a play he said that, that it's like a combination of ancient Egyptian and Berber. Well, the thing is, you can only read ancient Egyptian. You have no idea how to pronounce those words, I believe. Even on top right. of that, he didn't know what he, they were saying at the beginning. Because well, how do you well, know they want to see the 13th warrior his way into knowing the language? Yeah, quickly. <laughs> you got to have the scenes where he's close up on, on people's mouths as they speak. My, My mother's mother a saint. A saint. <laughs> you son of a big whore. Trent 
drivers, Los Angeles, more than the speaking crass of the whole fucking movie. Is that Yuma, Arizona? Yeah, drivers, Yuma. Alright. Catering Yuma. Oh, all the scenes the sand dunes. The fucking sand dunes. You world that famous Yuma the sand dunes. Yeah, I'm like, it's desolate well, yeah, at the best. Fuck would you? Yeah. We are not dirt bikers. We're not D bags. We're not D bikers. The worst kind of bikers. Ugh. I don't like any kind of biker. But D bikers are the worst. We're avid shooters. And so our path. Target often, shooters. Target shooters. Target shooters. Target shooters. We're, so our path often crosses with D bikers. They're actually kind of the bane of our shooting existence. Because they like to drive where they're not supposed to and kick up dust when they go by. Yeah. And they're extra they, loud and annoying. They'll be purpose. like, oh, uh, you were shooting this way, and I was illegally driving and making an illegal path in public land in yeah. this area that's nowhere near where you were shooting. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, yeah. Fucking idiot. That's why you're supposed to stay on the track. Yeah. And not drive where people where we're not shooting. Oh, they're the worst. D bikers? Yeah. Oh, D -bikers. Fuck those guys. I know. So we're saying we, uh, they're second, uh, group of drivers was in Yuma, so we were thinking they're hitting up the sand dunes outside of Yuma, and that's what those, that's where that was filmed. That makes sense. Yeah. Arizona Film Commission, Unifilm, Long Beach, Queen Mary, Long Beach, Los Angeles County. Yeah, there's a ton of... So they do. There's Arizona sand dunes in L.A. All right. For the, the scenes, uh, I guess in the studio. Where they were like in the city or whatever. City in, temple in the city. Ship. Learn more about the making of Stargate and the Stargate CD ROM video game. It just had a little <laughs> like a little thing there. Filmed in Panavision, whatever the fuck that means. Uh, that's <laughs> I think that's like an aspect ratio or some bullshit. They have to put up in there. There you go. Filmed on location, Yuma, Arizona, Long Beach, California. Long Beach could also have some nice sand dunes, I guess, right? It's saying this is... Wait, what? You good? Did you see that? It was a, a warning saying that it's a made-up story? Oh, uh, yeah. Every any incident that, is, that appears to be as if uh, real life is completely coincidental, that's a standard thing you include in films. Every movie. Jesus. Yeah. Can I, 